day of reflection and remembrance at Central Visual and Performing Arts High School. Today marks one year since a former student opened fire at a school in South St. Louis, killing 15-year-old Alexandra Bell and teacher Jean Kushka. Several others were injured. Classes were canceled today so that the community could focus on healing and remembering the victims. There have been a lot of changes in the last year. More than $2.5 million has been spent on new video surveillance, alarms, locks, specialty doors, and windows. There's also more security officers. School leaders say students and staff have worked hard to heal from the tragedy. There's no playbook, there's no guidebook for this, um, and there's no way around it. You have to just kind of move through it um, as well, and so we're just moving through it together. New tonight, our I-team is looking into the police investigation into the CBPA school shooting. One year later, police say they can't release any more information. Our Christine Byers pushes for answers on why the investigation is still open. For the last year, we've heard the heartbreaking moments from parents reflecting on the day of the CVPA shooting, like Manfred McGee, the dean of students whose 16-year-old son was shot in the leg. I think for people sitting on the outside looking in, they may look at it as a year later, but I look at it as something that happened a year ago that I've been dealing with every day since it happened. And Danita Watkins, who told us in April about her 15-year-old daughter who was shot in the leg and jumped from a third floor window to escape. Some days she's, you know, seems like she's happy, but some days I can see like depression in my daughter. Family still reeling and police still investigating. It's a very, very large in-depth investigation um, that we certainly want to make sure that we, we document everything. Which means that until the report is complete, the department won't release much. The I-team has filed multiple records requests for the police report, surveillance, and body camera video. And we've asked for an interview with the police chief. The department denied all of those requests. Department spokesman Sergeant Charles Wall shed some light on the delays during a video call last week. There's just a lot that has to be documented. Um, it's my understanding that the report at this point may be hundreds of pages long. Wall says part of the delay is because there were also hundreds of students, staff, and police officers from multiple agencies involved. Certainly it has been a priority for our agency. It is something um, that we are doing everything we can to get it done as quickly as we can. It's just it's, it's a very, very large in-depth investigation. The I-team also requested information from the St. Louis Public School District about security. Today, the district's security budget is $10.5 million. That's up from $8 million before the shooting. That additional $2.5 million mostly paid for additional video surveillance and intrusion alarm systems. As for that police report, McGee says it doesn't matter much to him. I don't really have any lingering questions because I was there. What they did that day and the short amount of time that they arrived on the scene to neutralize that situation. The police department spokesman tells me they hope to have the report finalized in the coming weeks. For the I-Team, Christine Byers, five on your side.